Okay, so I was uh, surfing around the next looking for different uh, distribution to take a look at, and I came across eLive, which is essentially a non-commercial, cost-free Linux OS that's uh, been around by the looks of things for quite some time, and uh, it is Debian-based. It's meant for uh, more older machines and were powered, but only that as well. But uh, they do have different versions available. Um, out of the box, of course, is a couple of enhancements to make it a bit easier to use uh, for newer folks. And uh, they also have uh, their own packages as, as well. If you check the downloads portion, they have a stable version. That is, uh, I believe it's outdated now, but it has the uh, best experience. They have a beta 32 bit and 64 bit version that they're working on. Uh, and they also have a special Retrowave edition. And then, of course, beyond that, they have older versions as well, which don't really recommend um, just for older cases of the software. Uh, the beta version is in development phase at the moment, but I opted to go and download the, and I think I downloaded the RetroWave version. He live makes hardware, graphical problems, and video proprietary drivers, uh, and, and an older version with an older kernel. I've gone into the latest hardware one. The E16 offers an extremely stable desk time. Okay, okay, that's fine. I don't need to change my language. I don't need to change my keyboard. And just say okay to this. Okay, so here we have the Retrowave Sense version. Uh, using ComKey on the side, only using 354 minutes of memory. Nice. And different virtual desktop environments here I see. If I right click, it tells me it is using the right mate. Uh, I can go to settings. I can change the, uh, the effects, change the focus setting, move the size, placement, desks, number of virtual desktops, uh, areas, pages, sounds, remember, setting sounds, graphics, theme, composite, Session miscellaneous okay, close and maintenance. Now you want to purge any config files, and it looks like only the theme here. So then, if I want this to look more normal, then I go back to Rich Web. I take it, yeah, okay. So we have the applications menu, audacious clipboard, history stack, box order, eLife Center. And the installer. Let's uh, install first. Let it update the installer. Okay. No. I don't want to add my email to report bugs. Thank you. Select the hardest partitioning augmented to set automatic. Set so uses. Uh, yes. Arrays. Uh, which file system we really want to use? But definitely uh, not resize uh, FS. Uh, we want to use ext4. No, we don't want to enable encryption. Yes, let's create a swap partition. I give them my geez, I have some sense of humor going on here. Eli, okay, I'm gonna keep the default name or what? Select the like features I want installed. Um, do just the forge. Uh, interesting, so it gives you the option of the forward system to your sys in it. I was going to use system sheet. Down one software center. It includes backpacks. No, I'm just going to do these defaults here. And yeah, I think Smith's record extra teams and iPhones. Helm as well. In some special swag you even like so. Still map pages. No, I would want to install man pages. Select no free software I want installed, man of fact, thank you. 
Okay, so that's the night caution uh, using a uh, gosh, just well, I'm not using a question in an email, pushing in a password. And I want to also open to the desktop. I probably just install packages that, yeah, we're going and for access. And we are not doing the last option. That would, wouldn't ask one's password. That just would be a security nightmare. Okay, congratulations. You've installed your line. Tell my credentials. And it will lock us into a in default session. So, in my health, you like news. Okay. Okay. Ah, I'm uh, let it do this. Mission you did start at C3s. Ah, interesting. Uh, feature that. Uh, when is it? Uh, back to the document reviewer. Look at terminal. Control Alt T. Control Alt T. Oh, thanks. I like to this thing. There's another Control Alt X. Okay, put this thing to the super keys here. And control delete opens task manager. Uh ice. Okay, so out of the box resources, all those two gigs of memories. Uh let them all ish CPU usage. And uh this and just press this control here on. Uh uh, closes the window. Uh, control Alt X. Uh, okay, so we've come through that settings before. Okay, so let's look at the applications menu. So we've got uh, Gbo, and Vern, Science Text Editor. What is this? Okay, it's a different text editor that exists. Call Virtual Box Gbo. Let's achieve it. Feel fully live. Love, feel from free live. We hope you enjoy it. It's from the feature this part of comfort and being your home. We see and able them as you wish. Okay. Anyway, that was uh, interesting. Then uh, more accessories, file management, archive recovery, Suma, Yielson. Uh, it looks like a synchronization. Yeah, it looks like a synchronization tool. And our internet, uh, file management, Dropbox transmission, Chrome, links to the uh, Palmoon browser, which we chose earlier. Right. Sound, music, YouTube, audacious. Ah, I could theme left under with audacious. So, style, dinner, winner, pro, CCM, I haven't seen this a long time. And these things here, of course, all different radio stations. I can't blame them. Uh, they work, but uh, I don't want copyright issues. Graphics, dark tip of the system, ties, my paint. What is my paint? It's a painting program. And then, ah, after simple. And it's quit. Video, the more stuff. It says it's really packed with software. Oh, it says a video editing tool. I don't have to get my head off. Ah, oh, I can't. This is. Ish. Uh, Alphas. The Nebra. Alphas. The Nebra. Ah, oh, okay. So it's a little bit different icon sets here. Cool. And which version of Libra Office is this? That's a more modern one, 7.41. Or Debian. Uh, education, web applications, Khan Academy, TED, programming, MELD, compare merge files, at an um, eLive, eLive Center. You know, multiple control Ah, okay, that's the one shot. But the, uh, okay, using your launcher, nice thing. I uh, have a whole bunch of settings we can do here. You know, uh, customers to can feel 
so you can change the whole setting here by configuring mouse cursor font and say you know upgrade on okay let's go i might can see can we switch to sub configuration so the user releases uh okay so it takes you to the uh web page that's fair we can still eventually use being trouble was if ever a help chat Ah, oh, it's actually tiresome. And there are other, some other use as well online, so I'll just go ahead with that. And then preferences, and then elementary configuration, screen, theme, fonts, color, like that. Okay, so, administration, page top G parted. And a process explorer application packages. Okay, so the center of internet to make say out of math, right? In mapping that I have this, this, but for just no actors fault, no. KDE desktops, internet, they will be shared. The results are foul. Okay, interesting. So, how do I find a terminal? Let's put terminal in here somewhere. I'm sure I've just missed it. Ah, uh, terminal. Uh, ah, we could type here. Terminal. Right. Uh, that type help. And you can see the features that are available. Okay, so I'm going to just do that. Update. And you can see it's using the bullseye in pose as well as their own custom makers as well and the 116 packages can liberate it i'll leave the sudo apt install uh synaptic yes uh tower tremors yes and send the checks and again for you pulls i repose that they are not using and of course, uh, six one thousand packages available. So I take that to be speak. Debian packages. I forgot to preferences here. Distribution network files. Pretty much similar set old. Did it? And if I do this, I got close this thing. Control Alt X. I think. Now to sudo apt upgrade. Ah, quite a lot of stuff can be upgraded to a more version. I wish we're not going to do that. So, what do I think of this? Well, I mean, this is a produced amount of memory, and if you want to try something that is retro and different, and why not? Uh, it's definitely one of the most interesting installers I've seen. One of the most interesting out there distributions I've tried, and it you know, the one I I think that's great. Not everything has to always be so serious and so perfect. So I think, yeah, this is a uh, distro that's fun to try. Looks fine. You can customize it if you want to get rid of some of the way it looks or you want to turn it down a little bit. You have the power to do it. Use less memory. There's a Stadion. Looking forward to a updated uh, version of this to come out. Um, which I'm sure it will soon since it's beta. And yeah, folks, uh, well, yeah, if, leave your comments below. If you've tried it, let us comment what you think. As always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.